In this presentation, I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary to install the end-of-day version of Metastock. To get started, though, you have to find three different emails that you should have received from Equus in your inbox. All of them will be coming from a no reply at equus.com. If you can't find them in your inbox, make sure and check your junk email folder to make sure that they weren't filtered out. The first one that we're looking for has a subject line of your Equus web account registration information. This is important and will allow you to log on to the Equus website and access your own personal account. The second email that's important has a subject line of order confirmation from Equus International. This is going to give you the information or the keys that you need to successfully install the Metastock program on your computer. And the third email, if you subscribe to the Reuters Data Link end of day data service, this email will actually give you your user ID and password and also a link to the Reuters Data Link agreement form. This agreement form is critical that you actually sign or agree to this before you're allowed to collect any data from Reuters Data Link. So to get started, just go ahead and open up a web browser and type in www.equus.com. Once the Equus website has been loaded on your machine, click on My Account. From here, you'll be directed to a customer service page. The link that we're interested in right now is the second one down called My Downloads. You'll then be asked to log in to the Equus website. In order to log in, you'll need to put in your username and your password. To find this information, Go back to the email and find the one that has a subject line of your Equus web account registration information. And in this email, what you need to document is your username and your password. Take that information, plug it into those two lines, and then click on Login. From here, you'll be logged into your account. As notated up at the top of this, it'll say Welcome and Your Name. In the middle of this page, you'll see that you'll now have a link to the software program that you purchased, along with a setup key. Before you download any software, what I recommend you do is actually go to the Reuters data link agreement and agree to their terms and conditions. If you do this first, it'll make for a much easier installation. So in order to do this, go back to your email find the one that has the subject of Reuters data link slash Metastock subscription information. And in this email, the third paragraph down, there's a link that is www.equis.com slash agreement slash Reuters data link dot ASPX. Click on that link. If you cannot click on that link, just highlight that whole line right there and paste it into your web browser. Once done, and if done correctly, you should then see this page, and this is the agreement for the Reuters Data Link service. This is important that you go through this agreement before Reuters Data Link will actually allow you to download any data. So read through the agreement, and at the very bottom of the agreement, you'll have the chance to click on I agree. From here, you'll be brought to the customer service and support page. If you scroll down this page, you're looking for the area under the customer service section, the second link down called My Downloads. From here, you'll be brought back to My Downloads. And this is actually where you can then download or install the program that you purchased. If you actually have the program in hand or the CD in hand, I would recommend that you actually install it from there because it'll actually go quite a bit faster. If you actually need to download it from the Equus site, click on this link. When you click on this link, you'll then be prompted, do you want to run or save this file? I'd recommend that you click on Run. At this point, depending on your internet connection speed, will determine how fast this actual program will be downloaded. In this example, you'll see that it took almost 20 minutes for it to download on the computer that I did this on and you'll see that the file is also 172 meg so it's a pretty large file that it's trying to download so again that's why I recommend if you actually have the CD in hand it'll probably go quite a bit faster if you can install it from there once that 
actually has been installed, you'll then receive another window which is called the WinZip Self Extractor. Click on Setup. Once that's finished, you'll then come up to the Metastock Setup page. This is basically asking you to make sure that all your windows are actually closed before beginning the installation. At this point, and all your windows are closed, click on Next. This page is basically asking permission to install the necessary components. Click on Next. This is your Equus Software License Agreement. Make sure that you read through the license agreement and that you agree to all of Equus's terms before continuing. After reading through this, if you do agree with it, click on I accept this agreement. After that, click on Next. You'll then be prompted to enter your name and the setup key. It's important to note that if you do not have a company name, this field is not required. So you can just enter your name and then enter your setup key. So the question is, where do you get the setup key? Go back to the email that has a subject line of order confirmation from Equus International. And what you're looking for is down about three quarters of the way down, there's a line called setup key. Notate that number and enter it back into the setup key fields. Once finished, click on next. From here, this dialog is basically just confirming what you just entered to make sure that it's correct. And if it is correct, click on yes. This is asking where the program is actually going to be installed. For new users, I recommend that you always accept the defaults, so just go ahead and click on Next. And again, for a new user, I recommend that you accept the defaults again and click on Next. Now, if you subscribe to the Reuters Datalink end of day data service, this is asking for the user ID and password so Metastock can get the end of day data as it needs it. So to find your Reuters data link user ID and password, go to the email with the subject of Reuters data link slash Metastock subscription information. About halfway down this letter, you'll find a your personal user ID and password. Take that information and enter it into these fields. Once that's entered, click on Next, and then you'll be asked what folder is the Metastock program going to be installed in. Again, click on Next. This will then actually install the program, and when it's finished, you'll have the chance to actually load the shortcuts directly on your desktop. And if you'd like the shortcuts on your desktop, click on Next. At that point, the Metastock program has been installed on your computer with a couple shortcuts. To load the Metastock program or run it for the first time, just click on the Metastock icon, and the first time that you actually run Metastock, you're going to be asked to activate the actual program. So first of all, what does that mean? Metastock protects itself with this activation program. And this activation program protects Metastock against more than two installs. So the first time that you run it, this box will pop up. And in order to activate your software or to finish the installation process, click on Yes. You'll then be prompted on the different choices on how to actually activate your software. The easiest, fastest, and simplest way to actually activate it is just to choose Internet Activate and click on Next. From here, you'll receive the License Manager that's going to come up on your screen. And in some cases, the license number will actually already be filled out for you. And if it is filled out for you, just click on Activate. If it's not filled out for you, or if it's blank, Go back to your email and find the one called Order Confirmation from Equus International. Scroll down to the license number and take that number and enter it into this box, including the dashes. Once that information has been entered, and make sure it's accurate, click on Activate. You will then receive confirmation that your product has been successfully activated so you can now begin running Metastock.